Good morning. I would love it if all of you would stand up and come to the front and join me in this experience that we're going to create. Is this on? Yeah. OK. Um, and there's a lot of room up here. So come on up. It's fine. We're going to. It's make believe, so we're going to create something together. I'm not totally sure what's going to happen in the next 15 minutes, but I think it's going to be um, hopefully really meaningful and really positive. So that's what we're in this experience for. So my name is Chris. Uh, I was the lucky beneficiary of Jamin's first uh, five minute massage this morning. It was amazing. <laughs> Highly recommend it. And what we're about to do is, as a group, we're going to do a five minute massage for your soul. Okay? And how that's going to happen is through this uh, project that I've inadvertently been a part of or, or helped start, uh, where we go around and we ask people for a word of intention. So it's one word that you might want to remind yourself of. When you wake up in the morning, you look down on your wrist and you're like, oh, there's something there for you. It could be a challenge that you want to overcome. So if you think about a challenge, it could be if you had a magic wand and you could have more of anything in your life. What's sort of fun about this is that uh, we turn it into a bracelet. So that's sort of the make-believe. It's more like you believe, and then we make a bracelet for you to complete the cycle. So most recently, you may have seen our bracelet on the cover of Time Magazine with Kanye West uh, wearing it right there. Here's a close-up of it. His word is beautify, and it's to make the world more beautiful. So if all of us, for just a second, if we all just close our eyes, all right, take a deep breath in, and then we're going to haw it out, okay? Okay, one more time. Last time. So with your eyes closed, just think about what's going on in your life right now. If you could, if you could have more of anything in your life right now, what would that be? If you were to wake up tomorrow and there was a word that would help you get to the next chapter of your life or the next phase, what would that word be? If you had a magic wand and you could bring more of anything into your life, what would that be? I'm going to guess, based on my experience of having a number of these conversations that some of you in the room will already have your word. I will also guess some of you will have multiple words, and that's OK. Some of you won't have any words. So we'll start with those of you that don't have any words. I would say, instead of trying to come up with a word, I would encourage you to just play it out in your mind in sentences. Just sort of think about what is going on in sentence form. You know, I wish I could have more of this. I, I could use a reminder that did some more of that. And as you go through that process, I think the word will eventually emerge. And it might not happen for a few more minutes. It might not happen for a few more hours. It'll maybe it might come to you in a few more days. And that's totally OK. It's OK. So if you ever want to open your, open your So how many, of you, how many of you, this is sort of an experiment, so I'm curious. How many of you have a word in mind? Wow, that's great. So it's about half, OK? And so for the rest of you, um, we're still thinking about it. So what's been really fun about this process in that we've been collecting these stories is the conversation oftentimes will be a catalyst and will help facilitate someone coming up with a word. So what I'm going to have people do is pair up, and you're going to have this little conversation. And you're going to take turns. You're going to have person A, person B, and then you know person A is going to uh, talk, person B is going to be a facilitator, and then we're going to reverse. And I'm just going to leave um, a couple tips for making this you know, the best experience possible. One is you're really creating space for each other. So smile, just be inviting, and really the, it's the energy that you're projecting to each other. That you're here to listen and you're, you're engaged, you're not on your phone, etc. The other thing is you're really helping to be a facilitator, you're helping to process. So what that means is uh, oftentimes I'll get someone and they'll come up to me and their first word will say success. And I'll say, OK, well, what does success mean to you? And you know, I was talking to the owner of a coffee shop recently. And he said, I want this coffee shop to be successful. He just started it. And I said, what does that mean? He says, oh, I think it means I need to build a community here. And so we ended up on the word community. 
or if someone else says, I wish I had more time. And I would say, oh, if you had more time, what would you do with that time? And she would say, I would dance more, or I would write more. Because there's you know, oftentimes a passion within us that we know we want to do more of, but we just forget to do it. And oftentimes, as I kind of, in the past week or so, as I started thinking about um, distilling down the thousands and tens of thousands of stories that I've heard, it usually turns out to be one of these three uh, types. Um, one is it's helping people sort of what you were saying earlier about getting to more of your authentic self. It's being more vulnerable. It's really just what's really going on with you, what really matters. So that's really important in creating the space, creating a, an open space, uh, an inviting space. Two is oftentimes the word will be something like, I just want to be nice and I want people to be nice to me, or I want to be kind, or I want to remember to be grateful. So it's just a positive um, vibe. It's, it's a virtue. And then lastly, it'd be something like, it's a goal. It's like, I want to do more of X. I want to explore more. I want to discover more. So that's likely what's going to happen. But I want all of us to try it. I think it'll be really interesting. So if everyone could just pair up in twos, we're going to try this. OK, so if, if everyone will find a partner. So your first goal is one person is A and one person is B. OK, so you guys have to decide who is A and who is B. All right, do we have, so who are the A's? OK, we got the A's figured out. OK, so person A is going to go first. And person B, it's really important, you're simply just going to keep asking questions. You're not going to interject your own story. You're not going to be like, oh, your word is balance. Oh, well, mine is too. And let me tell you about my version of balance. That's not what this is about. So this is about you really just listening and helping the other person process through it. Because that person may actually have one word. And oftentimes, the experience, they'll actually come up with a second word, and then they'll land on a third word. And it's this interesting journey um, that happens. So for the next two minutes, person A is going to share. Person B is just going to be a catalyst. OK, so go. OK, we're down to 30 seconds. So if you start wrapping it up. OK. If we can bring it to a close, we're going to switch. All right, where, where are the person Bs? Raise your hand, please. Person Bs. OK. So hopefully that is just the beginning of a great conversation that will happen later. So now it's time for person B to share his or her word. And then person A is going to be the facilitator, the catalyst. It's two minutes. OK, 30 seconds. OK. So it looks like everyone's really enjoying your conversation. If I can have everybody, just raise your hands real quick. We're going to do a, a group stretch. All right, group stretch. All right. How's everyone feeling? All right. OK, good. So what's going to be two, two surprises for you. We have these stickers that are, I believe, in the, in the outer rows here that say, hello, my word is. So I would love it if everyone would get a sticker and write your word and put it on you. So for the rest of the day during the breaks, when you're interacting with each other, you have the option to talk about your word. And if you're someone that's still figuring it out, that's totally OK. You'll have more conversations maybe over the course of the day. And maybe as you get more inspired by other speakers, you'll come up with your word. And if not, you know, it, sometimes it'll come to you in a few days. So that's totally fine. The other thing that is, we're, we have a, uh, a team back there that we will actually make these bracelets for you as well. So if you come see us, then we will make these um, for you as both either a bracelet or as a necklace that you can wear close to your heart. So with that, everyone's good? Yeah. Any thoughts for me? Like, I want to have a conversation. Like, what? <laughs> I feel a little bit alone up here, actually. What? I don't know, is any, any thoughts or? What's your word? Yeah. What's my word? The last word, I, I've, oh, that's a really good question. I've had 15 words. The first word I had was impact because I wanted to make a difference with my life. And this was my friend Ingrid who actually created this concept. And she came to my birthday party and said, I want to make intention bracelets for you and your guests. I didn't know what that meant. But she asked me for a word of intention. I gave it to her. And there we were. A week later, she gave me a kit. I was moving to LA, started making these, and, and off we go. Um, I've had impact, I've had uh, the word clarity, I've had love, I've had family, serve, courage, grounded, acceptance, um, truth. The word I'm wearing here is balance.
because it turns out I'm actually pretty bad at both personally and professional. I'm either usually one or the other, and I'm learning to, that it's okay, I can have it all. Um, the other word I have on my hand is um, the word home, which uh, I've been traveling a lot, and it's, uh, it's just, I, I want to feel centered and I want to feel connected to the people that I care about, and so sometimes I guess I wear, I have two words. Um, so with that, I think, any other thoughts or questions? What's your word? Ha actually, the way we connected, the way this, thing, whole, whole, this whole thing happened is pretty neat. Have one of these bracelets, um, and my word is who, um, and um, it's kind of a double layered meaning. One is that I'm a big Doctor Who fan, I love the values of the show, and I remind myself of them. Um, but the other is um, the you know, that's why I love my intent. You know, like I, I feel like you know, I have to remember who I am every day so I can make decisions in the context of who I am, so it's a reminder to be myself all the time. Um, so I'm curious what your word is, uh, my word today, or your, your, the word you just created? The word we started with was vulnerability, but it was really to have faith. So oh. faith in myself to remember to be. So, so, there, so as the conversation happened, it actually evolved and mm -hmm. got deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Okay, time's up. Thank you very much. Thank you.